uh, esoteric Islam uh, and um, what uh, is the relationship of esoteric Islam to the heavenly hierarchy of Dionysius, the Areopagite? Relationship between Peter and the Sophia, the Sophia, the Maratib, the Samoa, the Diana, the Samoa, the Sophia, the Diana, the Samoa, the Samoa, uh, there is a question about the relationship between uh, esoteric Islam, which is a uh, known as Sufism and uh, the uh, cosmological order the cosmological order the, the different worlds of space and time which are beyond the material universe hmm? um, I began my lecture by suggesting that secular scholarship is inadequate to explain, to penetrate the reality of the world today. And I suggested gently so, <laughs> because I, I'm in a university, that scholarship which is based on the revealed word of God, religious scholarship, would have a capacity to penetrate reality and to explain reality in a manner that secular scholarship cannot. Let me give you an example. Last night you had a dream. You do dream in Belgrade, don't you? And in your dream you saw your neighbor's house on fire burning down that's last night and then today at 10 o'clock in the morning lo and behold fire in your neighbor's house and it was burnt down and you said to your mother mama I saw this last night Does this happen? Can you have a dream of something which is not as yet occurred and then you see it happen? Yes, of course. Secular scholarship cannot explain such a dream. But religious scholarship can do it because we have a cosmology we recognize the existence of universes beyond our material universe it's called the Samawat and that events exist before they occur events exist before they occur. Events exist before they occur. And this is why the prophets of God could say that in the end times this will happen and that will happen and the other thing will happen. And that there will be the Antichrist who has a PhD in deception 
You know that, don't you? He, come, he comes with two things. He comes with a river and a fire, the Antichrist, the Jal. He comes with a river and the fire. But his river is a fire. And his fire is the cool waters of a river. In, this is symbolic, symbolic language, indicating that he takes the road to heaven and makes it look like the road to hell. And he takes the road to hell and he makes it look like the road to heaven every night on television. <laughs> Our prophet said that this will come to pass. So it is because of our recognition of the existence of other worlds of space and time beyond the material universe and that events can exist before they occur that it is possible for religious scholarship to penetrate reality in a manner that secular scholarship is inadequate to do. Thank you. Imamo fantastična pitanja. Da je, aha, here. We have fantast, imamo fantastična pitanja. Nadam se da ćemo bar uspeti da zagrebemo površinu tih tema koje se ovde pokreću. Pre svega, jedan komentar, više nego pitanje, kaže, mnogo hvala na kosmičkom božanskom glasu istinske unifikacije. Salem aleikum. There is a comment here, rather than a question. Many thanks on your cosmic divine voice of true unification. Salam aleikum. Sledeće pitanje je šta gospodin Šejk misli o sadašnjem vođi Čečena Kadirovo? What does the Šejk think about the Čečen leader Kadirovo? Any Muslim people who make the mistake of taking weapons from Santa Claus and taking US dollars from Santa Claus to wage a bogus jihad are misguided. But Santa Claus succeeded in Syria. <laughs> he succeeded in Iraq. He succeeded in Libya <laughs> in fooling many Muslims. And they were deceived and they took the weapons and they took the US dollars and they went to wage a bogus jihad when a Muslim people open their eyes and recognize that this is wrong that we were deceived that we should not take weapons and money from Santa Claus to wage a bogus jihad then we commend such a Muslim people. This is certainly what happened in Chechenia. And we are happy that a leadership has emerged in Chechenia, which is no longer aligned with Santa Claus. What do you think about the rule of Syria? Sledeće pitanje je šta mislite o ruskoj pomoći Siriji i da li bi rezultat u Siriji bio isti bez ruske intervencije? What do you think about the Russian help to Syria and would the outcome have been the same if the Russians had not intervened? I have to commend 
uh, President Vladimir Putin and the Russian government who displayed amazing courage, much less courage, indescribable courage to risk nuclear war in their military intervention in Syria. I don't know where they got that courage from. It had to be from the spiritual heart that Russia still has, while Russia's enemies have hearts which are barbarian. If Russia had not intervened, and intervened with the determination and skill with which it did, then Syria would have become another Libya. And more importantly, the Christian people of Syria would have been slaughtered. And I could not be here in Belgrade today. They would have achieved their objective. That the massacre of the Armenians would have been repeated one more time. To ensure that a wedge is driven between the world of Islam and the world of Orthodox Christianity that they can never, never come together. The Christians of Syria would have been slaughtered to sabotage any possibility of an end time friendship and alliance between Muslims and Orthodox Christians. But they plan their plans and he plans his plans and we thank him for Russia's intervention. Thank you, Shay. Samo jedan mali komentar. Ja sam iz Amerike. Možete biti sigurni da vaši vršnjaci, kolege, pre svega ne bi mogli da prate predavanje na stranom jeziku, a zatim ne bi mogli da postavljaju ovako kvalitetna pitanja. Tako da ću posle da predložim Šejku da na sva vaše pitanja, ne možemo sva, da tretiramo večeras, ali da on odgovori na sva vaše pitanja i možda da postavi na svoj website ili tako nešto. Ok, the next question is, what is the message of love with which we can bring people back into belonging to the one true God and remove the hate based on ignorance? 